Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Today, we're taking a look at some must-have summer fragrances that you can pick up for under $250 overall. So it's kind of uh, one of those fragrance buying guides almost. This is a video that Timmy at Imagine Scent did. Link in the description to his channel. So essentially, these are fragrances that I would suggest you picking up if you didn't have any summer scents and you had 250 bucks to spend. So you're trying to get summer fragrances that are gonna cover you in just about any situation you could think of when it's really hot out, like right now, <laughs> you've got a fragrance for that. When it's nighttime in summer, you've got a fragrance for that. More formal situations, you've got a fragrance for that. So that was the idea. I came up with uh, seven overall. And the reason behind that was seven days in the week, seven fragrances. So let's jump into this. And uh, at this moment in time, second guessing shooting right here. <laughs> this is not comfortable. I'm gonna give you guys a rough price on each one of these. As of me shooting this video, this is what the price is on each one of these fragrances from Fragrance Net. You can pick them up from Fragrance X also and a bunch of other discounters. It might be slightly more expensive at some of the other discounters, but you might get it faster <laughs> because Fragrance Net shipping, sometimes not the best. And yes, I'm going to be sweating more and more as this video goes on. It's a summer video. Okay, first up, Chrome Aqua. You can pick this one up, 50 milliliter size, for about $27.94 from Fragrance Net. And uh, I know for a lot of you, when you pop onto Fragrance Net right now, it's giving you 25% off. They removed the 37% off coupon. I will put the uh, current coupon for 35% off in the description. I found that the other day, so I'll put that down there. That's what I priced these out with. This one has sea notes, grapefruit, basil, mint, a little bit of vetiver in there as well in the base. This one, one of the best chrome flankers period and especially of the more recent flankers chrome extreme is really good as well but chrome extreme is newer so you can pick this one up a little bit cheaper right now situations like this with the sun beating down on you chrome aqua it smells great clean refreshing a little bit sweet from the citrus in there clean masculine base this one gets the job done anytime that it's hot outside and i've mentioned this before it also smells great in winter. So when it's cold outside, this one gets kind of an icy vibe to it and icy feel. Works great there too. So this one really just about a year round fragrance, but when it's really hot outside and you want something refreshing that's not offensive, that still smells great, Chrome Aqua. All right, next up, let's talk about this one right here. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Oh, intense. In my opinion, this one better than the original Light Blue Pour Homme. There are a bunch of summer flankers in the uh, Light Blue line. You could go with one of those, you know, Light Blue Sun, even Light Blue Italian Zest, which personally I don't think is very good. But this one, oh, intense. This one's the one that I would go for. This one's gonna run you about 4809 for a 100 milliliter size bottle as of this video. That was the smallest size bottle that they had as of me filming this. So you could pick it up for less when they have the uh, smaller bottle in stock. This one has mandarin orange, amber wood. It's also got C notes, just like the last fragrance. You find that a lot of times in summertime fragrances, not really a big surprise there. And there's grapefruit in here as well. So you're gonna get that citrus punch. A Little bit of juniper in here as well. Helps with the briskness in the opening. This one, very sea salty. This one also a big compliment puller. Maybe slightly more versatile than Chrome Aqua, just in the sense that this one, a little bit easier in formal situations if you find yourself in a formal situation in summer. Performance on this is good. Big compliment puller, uh, big attention grabber, light blue, Oh, intense. Again, in my opinion, this is the light blue pour ohm to own. I'm gonna show you guys some alternatives here really quickly. I'm gonna show you two right now and then a couple more alternatives later on. These are ones I thought about putting in here and really you could swap out some of the fragrances that I chose for these alternatives if you wanted to. First one I wanna show you, this one, Jimmy Choo Man Ice. This is super cheap, 100 mils. You can pick it up for like 2274, I believe it was. This one's gonna give you a similar feeling to Dior Homme Cologne. Not the exact same as Dior Homme Cologne, but when you spray this on in the opening, it's gonna remind you of Dior Homme Cologne, just much, 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 much cheaper. So it's got kind of an icy lemonade sort of vibe, a uh, little bit sweet, very fresh. This one, extremely refreshing. Performance, not the best, 
but it costs next to nothing. Actually has the notes on the back here. It's got a bergamot, vetiver, patchouli musk, and broxen because this is a tester. Atomizer on this is also great. It all went that way, but the atomizer is great. So Jimmy Two Man Ice, this one great for extreme high heat situations during the day. And another one that you could get, Low Super Major DC by Issey Miyake. This one, super modern. This one's really heavy on that ambroxony sort of vibe, that cashmere sort of vibe, where it's fuzzy, warm, uh, but at the same time, fresh. This one, Low Super, is better than the original Low Major. So between Low Major DC and Low Super Major DC, I would go with this one. It's uh, really cheap, 2209 for this one, so. It's not going to run you that much money. Performance on this really good as well. And back into the fragrances that I chose. Versace Pour Homme. Yes, Versace Pour Homme. This one is 3314 as of this video for this size, 50 mils. So it's not one of the cheapest ones on this list, but this one, a great daily driver kind of fragrance. Type of scent that you can spray on in any situation, it's going to work. You can wear this formally, you can wear it to the office, you can wear it during the day, you can wear it during the night, lots of different situations pull this off. It's got lemon bergamot, neroli, tonka, and musk. It gets compared to Chanel Allure Homme Sport. So if you wanted to, you could think of this as a more affordable version of that. You know, similar DNA, similar scent profile, similar usage. This one also really well loved by the majority of people. Like I said, just an easy to wear kind of fragrance. Get out of the shower, spray this one on, good to go. This next fragrance, you're gonna have to work with me a little bit. Guerlain Vetiver Eau de Toilette. You can get this for $25.99 for a 50 ml size bottle. That is a great deal, by the way. The quality of this fragrance is super high. This one is not a super fresh fragrance. So in situations like this, probably wouldn't reach for this fragrance, but formal situations, nighttime situations, office situations, that's when I would reach for this one. I was thinking about going with Grey Vetiver as one of my fragrances for the same uses as this one. Grey Vetiver would be a little bit more versatile in summertime than this one because it's a little bit fresher, but Grey Vetiver is also way more expensive than Guerlain's Vetiver. So the Tom Ford would have eaten up like half my budget just with that fragrance alone. So this has Vetiver, obviously. It's also got tobacco. It's got bergamot in here. It actually has a ton of notes. There's a little bit of lemon in the opening, so you do have a little bit of citrus in there off the top. Uh, there's also pepper in here as well, a little bit of spice. This one, it is a little bit richer than a lot of these other fragrances. It's got a little more ump, so in super high heat situations, I probably wouldn't reach for it. Uh, but this is a gentlemanly, classic vetiver fragrance that is just insanely easy to pull off in formal and office situations. So that's why this one makes this list. If you're somewhere where it's air conditioned, you're good to go with that. If you're gonna go outside around a lot of people and it's super hot and you're gonna be sweating up a storm, there are better options for you. But as far as bang for buck, that one's got it in spades. And let's go from that one to another Guerlain, Guerlain Ohm. Now, when you buy this fragrance nowadays, it's not gonna come in this bottle. It's no longer produced like this. It comes in a bottle that looks like this vetiver bottle here. And now it's Guerlain Ohm Eau de Parfum, whereas this, Older version was in Eau de Toilette. You can pick it up for $27.94 for a 50 ml size bottle. So it's right in line with the price of Guerlain Vetiver, slightly more expensive. It's got mint, lime, rum, and vetiver as some of the notes in the fragrance. It's got a mojito kind of vibe to it. So it's boozy, but minty and sweet. It's a great change of pace from a lot of the other blue fragrances out there that kind of follow the same Ambroxan, Amberwood uh, kind of trend. This one does things differently and it smells great. So that one's gonna be a nice change of pace so that you can wear during the night, but also during the day. It's gonna give you a different kind of vibe. Again, that mint, that mojito, that booziness. None of the other fragrances here have anything like that. Okay, up next, uh, Coach Platinum. Yeah, Coach Platinum. This one, very affordable. Got kind of a similar vibe to Dior Sauvage. A lot of people will say that anyway. $27.94 for two ounces is gonna be the pricing on this one. This is a tester, so I've got the notes right here on the back. Black pepper oil in the top, a heart of cashmere, and a base of vanilla and leather. This also has pineapple in it. People mention that all the time, so throw that pineapple in with these other notes. Like I said, it gets mentioned with 
Dior Sauvage, smelling similar to Dior Sauvage. Got that fruity sweetness in there from the pineapple. It does have additional sweetness and warmth as it dries down with the cashmere and the vanilla and the leather. The leather here is not really aggressive though, so it's not the kind of leather that's gonna overwhelm you in higher heat situations. All that being said, that one probably wouldn't reach for as much on days like today, where the sun is just, you know, full blast. Probably in uh, rainy situations in the summer, evening situations, nighttime situations, uh, before it gets super hot. That's when I would go with that one. And let's do a couple more alternatives and then the last two fragrances I actually picked. So this one, 4711, is one of my alternatives. This is a 200 mil size bottle. This is insanely inexpensive. This stuff costs next to nothing. You can get 100 mils of this for I think $10.39 and the larger size bottles aren't all that much more expensive. Now this is gonna give you a similar vibe to Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. And this is a splash. I'm actually gonna put some on right now because it is just hot. This also comes in sprays, so you can get it splash or spray either way. The knock on this one is gonna be the performance. It is not good. This is an eau de cologne. That being said, this fragrance is made really just to refresh you. So when it's really hot outside, you can get some of this, splash it on. You're gonna smell fresh. You're gonna smell clean, energized for like 30, 45 minutes, then it starts to just vanish. Where this is so inexpensive, you can just throw this in an order and then just you know throw it in your collection. And when it's really hot out, splash this on you'll feel great. And then last alternative, Aqua Senzial Colonia. It also could be Aqua Senzial the original or Aqua Senzial Blue, any of them. You can pick them up for about $24.04. This one, the one I have here, Aqua Senzial Colonia, is more of a classic Italian style cologne. Fresh, gentlemanly, a little bit of that old world sophistication in it. The original Aqua Senzial gets compared to Bleu de Chanel. So it's a, a blue fragrance. That being said, it's not super close to Bleu de Chanel, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so we're at the last fragrance here and it's gotta be this one, Mugler Cologne. This one is the most expensive one of the bunch, $55.34 for 100 mils. The Roly Bergamot Pettigrain Musk, some of the notes in this fragrance. The reason I put it in this list in this video is because uh, the versatility. Yeah, where it's clean, it's fresh, it's uplifting, it's refreshing. You can wear it in any situation. You can wear this to the office, you can wear this on a date, you can wear it out in high heat situations like this, you can wear it out at night, you can wear it formally. This can do pretty much anything. It's the more affordable version of Creed's original vetiver. They are quite similar. The Creed, higher quality of course, but this one, great fragrance. So even though it's expensive, I had to put it in there. It just has so many uses and uh, that's gonna do it for me. That's gonna wrap this up. Must have summer fragrances if you have $250 to spend. Uh, I know I gave you some alternatives, just four. Realistically, I could give you like 25 or 30 alternatives, but then this video would just be way too long and I would probably melt. I'm sure you can tell that I'm getting a little bit sweaty sitting here. So I'm gonna call this a day and wrap this video up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.